Hi guys, welcome to another episode of the Delicious Cooking Series. Today we're doing something slightly different from our usual cooking videos. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up a basic dining table at home. I am of the opinion that meal times should be a time where you create memories with yourself, with your family members and with your friends. And that's why it's very important that you know how to take advantage of your dining table. I know a lot of people who actually do not know how to use their dining table. In fact, I had a conversation with someone a couple of days ago and she told me that sometimes she literally forgets that she has a tiny dining table. But you guys, there is lots and lots of power in your dining table if you will just learn how to use it. It's a time where you can bond with your family, share fun experiences, enjoy a good meal, and guess what guys, you can create an impression in the minds of your family members when you go all out to set out the table and call them to come and enjoy a meal. So instead of just cooking a meal and then dishing it on a plate and then calling everyone to come and take the food or just take, go and eat and then pick different people, especially if you have a large family and um, son one is in the bedroom eating, son, son two is in the um, sitting room eating, son three is somewhere else eating or daughter one is somewhere else eating. It's actually a good thing if you can just lay the table, set up the table and just call everyone to come and sit on the table and have a meal on the table. Trust me guys, it takes bonding time to a whole new level and it's something that you should definitely inculcate. You don't necessarily have to have lots of children before you do that. If it's just you and your husband or just you and your wife, you can actually also set the table, catch up on old, catch up on the day, catch up on what's happening. It's something that I think you should inculcate in the new year and that's why I'm taking the time to show you how to set up a basic dining table. I don't necessarily have to do it every day. You can do it, maybe take out two times a week to just take the time to actually lay the table. And guess what? I'm sure you already have everything that you need to set up your table in your house, but you just be neglecting it because you think it's not important. Trust me guys, when you start setting up the dining table and calling everyone to the dining table to have a meal on the dining table, Trust me guys, it will literally shoot up the bonding experience with you and your family members or your friends to a whole new level and it makes things very interesting. I already have everything that I'm going to be using to set up this table right here. The table is in front of me. I wanted to use my dining table but um, because we have, we're shooting with cameras, it would be impossible to actually get the cameras to fit, the lights and everything to fit into um, the dining table. So I'm going to be using a table that I've laid, um, I put in front of me here um, to just show you a demo. And I'm going to be setting a table for two people. Basic things, guys. This is like a home, um, um, this is a home setting. You don't need a lot. You already have everything you need. I promise you. So let's just get started with it. I think so to set your dining table at home, the very first thing you have to consider is the type of table that you're using. So if you're using a table that doesn't have a very clean or clear surface, it's always advisable to invest in a good tablecloth. A white one will do, but you can do different, um, there are other different colors, depending on your preference, basically. It doesn't necessarily have to be white, but I always think that white just creates this very neutral pattern for you to now um, for you to now work with. The next thing I'm going to talk about is the table mats. So the table mat is the next thing that goes on top of the table. So it's either you use a table mat or you use charger plates. But because this is a home setting, I think table mat is, is more ideal for a home setting. And that's why I'm going to be using um, table mats for mine. Like I said, I'm going to be setting the table for just two people. And if you notice here, I have um, table mats that are that has, um, that have um, a sky blue color it has a sky blue and a white color and this table mat will now determine what kind of setup I'm going to sorry the colors of my table mat will determine what kind of setup now you don't have to be as extra as I am but I always like to create some um, I always like to create something that is kind of like color coded so now that I'm using table mats that have blue and white 
Every other thing I'm going to be using, I would ensure that it fits the pattern of my table mat so that it looks really pretty. I'll, I'll give you an example. So for example, I know that a, a clean white plate that has maybe blue patterns will really work well with this blue patterned table mat. If it's a purple table mat you're using, just look for dishwares that will fit the table mat. And that's why I always say that you invest in different types of dishwares and different types of cutlery and different types of table mat. But if you have just one table mat, please by all means, use the table mat that you have in your house. Okay, so I'm just gonna lay it like so. Okay, so now that we have the table mat all set up and looking very pretty, the next thing you need to think about is the dishware that you're going to be using and that's dependent on what meal you're going to be serving. So if you're serving a two cost meal or a three cost meal, you'll be using three different kinds of dishwares. If it's a two cost meal, you'll be using just two um, different kinds of dishwares. But if it's just a one cost meal, you'll be using just one dishware. So a one cost meal can just be the main meal and you, you, all you need is one plate. But if you're going to be serving appetizer, main meal and the dessert, you need three different types of plates. For this setup, I'm going to be using two different kinds of dishwares. I'm going to be using one that has um, that's quite deep, like so, and I'm going to be using one that's flat. So this can be used as the appetizer, and then this can be used for the main meal. But by all means, you do not necessarily have to use two. You can use one, but I think that using two actually makes things look a lot pretty. It's just my opinion. My opinion. Just place them like this. can see that the table is coming together really fast and you guys even if it doesn't take so much time to set up a table it takes literally five minutes or less to set up a table so why not do it why not do it and create a good memory right I mean look at look at this coming together nicely okay so we have all of the dishware set on the table the next thing you want to think about is the cutlery now regardless of whether you're serving a one cost meal or a two cost meal it's always advisable to use a complete cutlery set. Now a complete cutlery set consists of your fork, your knife and your spoon. And the fork always goes to the left hand side of your plate, like so. And then the knife and the spoon go to the right hand side. The knife goes in first and then the spoon, the spoon follows like so and the reason for this is sometimes your diners are more comfortable eating with a fork they have the fork to eat with some are more comfortable eat, eating with a spoon they have a spoon to eat with for the knife they may want to um, cut out uh, a hard piece of meat or just want to cut something the knife will be there made available for them and you won't um, have to always get up from the table to go and get it just in case they request it so it's always advisable to leave um, to put a full cutlery setup on the table whenever you are um, you're setting the table okay just like this it's really coming together perfectly and I like it <laughs> and all I've used are just the table mats the dishware and the um, cutlery. The next thing you need to think about now is the glassware that you're using and now that that also depends on what you will be serving at, at the table. So if you're going to be serving just water all you need is your water glasses right but if you're going to be serving maybe a, a juice you'd also need the juice glass if you're going to be serving wine you'll be needing a wine glass so depending on what you're serving um, that will determine what kind or what am, the amount of um, glassware that would be on the table so for this table setup I'm going to be serving some water and um, some wine red wine and water and red wine have different glasses and I'm going to be using their different glasses and then the water glass always goes to the right hand side of the table always goes to the right hand side remember that like so and what I like to do is just put it just a little bit in the um, on the table mat, and then most of it will be on the the main the plain table, just like this. The tip of it is touching the table mat. That's all you need, okay? And then the wine glass, 
there's a, there's a difference between the water glass and the wine glass like I said I'm also going to be serving wine at this table so I'm going to be using a wine glass which goes also to the side of the water glass I think we need to bring this one in and this one goes here like so you can see that it's coming together really fast I think I have one more I'd initially planned to do a two table setup but then the table looked really wide and it was really looking funny setting up just two so we decided to add a third one okay all right so I'm just gonna quickly grab a third wine glass and a third water glass and we're just gonna do the same setup basically yeah it's coming together really nicely and me like it okay so at this point the table is basically set up for a meal um, but I like to take things up a notch and I also always say that a table is not complete until it has napkins because things may spill on your, the cloth of your diners and you want to have something handy for them to just clean up immediately so it's also good to invest in some you can invest in paper napkins or you can invest in the um, the fabric napkins if you have the money for that but I'm gonna be using some paper napkins for this setup you just put it on top of the plate like so and it just I think it just helps amplify the look and just make things look um, a lot prettier and remember that I said that I'm using a color co a color code right now because my base that's the table mat I'm using is has a sky blue and a white color so everything I'm using has to match it um, so I'm using um, a dishware that's that's white and has some gray patterns on it I'm using silver um, silver cutlery and I'm using um, plain wa um, water glasses and then my napkins are also in um, I think that they look is this silver? I think they're silver. Yeah, so can you see that everything just blends naturally into each other? But again, by all means, use whatever it is that you have available in your house. I know that you have all of these things at home. Now, at this point, the table is ready to for um, eating. The, every other thing that you'll be adding are things that will be enjoyed by your diners so what the only things left are the dishes that will be served um, so I'm just gonna go ahead now and bring in the dishes I'm gonna be using some good old jollof fries remember that this is a pretend table guys so we're using pretend meals my fruit platter goes in next like so look at how colorful the table is looking so far I also always like to serve some nice snacks and treats something to nibble on maybe after your meal and you're still having a conversation on the table with your family or your friends you can just have something to nibble on so I put them in this really cute bowls and I'm just gonna put them at strategic points on the table now my table is not a basic dining table this is a lot smaller a dining table is a lot bigger so you have a lot of room to work with when you decide to lay yours so but I'm just working with what I have and that's why I'm trying to maximize the space as much as possible I also like to put um, an element of decoration on the table so like I said you can put live flowers you can even put artificial flowers but I don't think I have any more room or space on the table for live flowers or something to just vamp things up so I'm gonna be using this artificial ball and this um, blue and green stones just to vamp up the look I'll place it at a strategic point as well just to make things look extra special and extra homey homely <laughs> right so that just stays there and then of course I'm going to be serving um, some wine so I'm going to grab my wine really quickly hold on guys The wine just goes at the center of the table like so and then I'm also going to be serving some water and I, I put it in a I always like to use a glass pitcher for my water but you can use your bottle you can use um, whatever it is you have available and just put the glass pitcher somewhere on the table and that's it guys the table is basically 
literally set up at this point. It looks pretty. If someone invites you to a table like this to come and have a meal, wouldn't you be happy? Let's be honest. Wouldn't you be happy? I know I would. Because, and then it would literally shoot up my appetite and make me want to eat. And then this is a, an amazing way to create an amazing memory. Now, I, I forgot to put um, seven spoons for your rice and the fruit or whatever it is you're serving. So make sure you use you include some seven spoons so that your diners don't use the spoons that they put in their mouth to use to touch the food, okay? So yeah, the, 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 the table setup is complete at this time. And like I said before, right, this doesn't always have to happen every time you want to have a meal. So it doesn't always have to happen during breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You can just pick one major meal in the day where you know everyone would want to dine together and do it and if you think it's going to be too much for you to do every day of the week what you can also do is just pick some special days in the week yours can just be during the weekend because sometimes people have busy lives on week on the weekdays and the weekends is all you have i know my sister um always likes to make meal times during the weekend that saturday and sunday a really big deal and she literally goes all out for like this anytime she's serving her family um, a meal on a Saturday or on a Sunday. So you can decide to pick one day in a week, you can decide to pick two days in a week, you can even decide to do it every day of the week, every night, whenever you want to have dinner, you can decide to go all out and do this. This will literally take you five minutes to set up. I tell you, apart from the meal you have to make, it will literally take you five minutes. So ensure that you inculcate this habit of setting up your dining table and getting your family to eat together this is this is a major reason why the, the dining table was created so that people can sit down together and eat gather around sit down as a family have a good chat catch up on each other's lives and then enjoy a good meal i promise you guys it's definitely something that you want to add to your routine so ensure you add it to your routine okay all right guys I, I think my job here is done i hope i've been able to convince you enough <laughs> to always set up your dining table at home whenever you're making um, um whenever you're having a meal i'll see you next time with another amazing tip or another mouth-watering recipe until then remember that i'm still the queen of fun and fast cooking and i'm signing out right now with a kiss take care guys <laughs>